Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today's play is inspired by Henry Matisse. Now, Henry Matisse, if you're not familiar with him, he's a painter, a sculptor, pretty much did every medium he could find. So I guess one of the original mixed media types. And he was well known for his use of color, amazing use of color, vibrant color. And he had all sorts of different phases that he went through, about 60 years that he was creating art. So that's a lot of time to make stuff. And I just, if there was anybody I ever could sit down to have a cup of tea with and just have a conversation with, this is the person I would so love, so love to be able to do that. If I had a time machine, this is the guy I would go visit. So the reason why the play today is inspired by Henry Matisse is because of the stencil called Stars Inspired by Matisse. I love the way he made these wonky stars in his art, so I use that for the inspiration in creating the stencil. And I'm going to use this in an art journal page with a whole lot of color. Well, I'm starting with this colorful background, and this was actually made while gel printing, basically cleaning my brayer off and stuff right into my art journal page. Now I'm just gonna pop the stencil right on top of this and then I'm gonna stencil a bunch of bright colors for the stars. Now if you want a really crisp image with a stencil, what you wanna do is stencil in an up and down motion. You'll notice I'm not really doing that. I know that the way to do it is up and down, but I somehow seem to like to go side to side because it feels so much faster to me. The other thing is I am using a heavy body paint right now. So it's a more opaque paint that will allow it to pop against the other colors that are on there. That way it stands out. If I'm using a very translucent or sheer paint and putting it on top of something that's very colorful, it's going to be hard to see it. Now, another thing that you need to do if you like a really crisp image is to use the smallest amount of paint possible with a stencil. Clearly, I'm not following that here. I'm using ample, generous, juicy amounts of paints here, but because they're heavy bodied, there's probably not gonna be too much running underneath it. I'm actually thinking there's not gonna be a lot run underneath it, but should some paint run underneath the stencil, should one of these stars not be absolutely perfect, what am I gonna do if that happens? I'm simply gonna say, oops, it's an outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly. And now I'm just about done putting color on these stars, I'm living on that edge. I'm wondering when I lift this up, am I going to see crisp and precise stars or am I going to see a mess? So I'm going to lift this stencil up and see what's waiting for me. And you know what? It all worked out just fine. Now, by the way, I'm not saying that it all worked out just fine to you. I'm actually saying that to my logical left brain that was having a little bit of, well, a conniption that I was taking all those amazing risks of using a lot of paint and not doing it precisely. So to logical left brain, it's all fine. Now this page has evolved over time. The background which I made, it built up over time as I was cleaning off my brayer when gel printing. And the tea that's down there, I forget why that tea even ended up there, but it was just sort of this random letter there. And I figured, eh, it'll get covered up, no big deal, right? Well, it turns out it was the inspiration for what I ended up choosing for my quote. Tea and stars got me thinking about Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and that led me to this quote by Marilyn Monroe. So now you've got an idea of how things kind of end up connecting up in my head. And yes, I was singing the song the entire time I was looking for that quote. But don't worry, you're safe. I am not going to sing for you in this video. I think Marilyn Monroe was such a fascinating woman. So of course, I'm thrilled to use one of her quotes in my art journal page. And it says, we all of us are stars and we deserve to twinkle. And I think she is absolutely correct. And then I had a whole bunch of the word twinkle all over the place. That's what the, the bottom and the top is just twinkle, 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 twinkle all over the place. I also thought it was pretty funny that the muse ended up putting a star right on top of the T. I did not plan that. I could not have planned that. That was just the muse having a little fun with me. Now, where did this quote come from? How did it come about? Well, I printed it out on my computer and then I just cut it into neat and tidy little strips and then stuck it right on with that glue stick. Now, remember earlier in the video where I said my logical left brain was freaked out a little bit about how I was using the paint on the stencil? Yeah, well, it kind of has been stewing and now just found the perfect time to start mouthing off to me. So in my head, logical left brain is starting to pout because I'm getting all particular about are these strips of paper cut to the right length and where are the letters going to, where the words going to be positioned. And really, it's just twinkle, 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 twinkle. There's no poem at this part. There's no quote. It's just twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. And so that part of my brain is just sort of having a little like, what are you doing? Why are you being so precise here? 
when you didn't care when you were doing the paint. And I don't know why exactly, but I kind of like the fact that it's irritating that logical left brain part of me even more. And I have to admit, the ornery part of me is kind of having fun doing that to it. And oops, I totally forgot to mention that this stencil is available over at StencilGirlProducts.com. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. If you've been enjoying the fun and don't want it to end, it doesn't have to. Head on over to the blog at acolorfuljourney.com where you can enjoy this blog post as well as get signed up for my newsletter where you can get free sparks of our inspiration and there's a free downloadable video waiting for you there. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey. Oh, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll see when I have my next video out. <laughs>